Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to our channel once again. Today's video request is how you can use free pick files in Canva. So let's talk about that. By the way, I'm going to be providing two examples for today's video. The first one is how to import free pick photos or images. And the second one is how to import free pick templates, how to open them and how to use them within Canva. So whichever you want to learn first, just skip through. All right. Okay, with that said, first we're going to look for some nice things from FreePick that we can import to Canva. So here on FreePick, we can actually look for some vectors, photos, videos, PSD files, and even templates. But this time, let's look for some example photos. Let's find something by using the search bar over here. So as for me, I like dogs, so I'm going to search for cute dog art. OK, and we can see lots of very beautiful images over here. So just, yeah, choose one that you'd like to download. As for me, I think I like this one because these actually look like my dogs. So yeah, I'm going to choose this one. So let's download it. By the way, please remember to attribute this photo. To learn more about how you can attribute it, click on this how to attribute link right over here, which is below these two buttons and beside this attribution required text over here. Okay, so once we click on download, we'll get two options. So go premium. Um, this is what you're going to choose if you don't want to attribute the author. And that costs about 9 euros per month. But if you'd like to use it for free, just click on free download. And make sure to attribute the author as it's part of the rules when you use FreePick services. So we're going to download it. We're going to navigate to where we'd like our FreePick element to be saved in so that it's easier to find once we import it to Canva. And then we're going to save it. And it's already saved to our computer. Okay, we're going to go back to Canva um right here and i'm just gonna um open a new design for now so let's say for example youtube thumbnail i should just click on create design youtube thumbnail and this one just to quickly open a blank page okay so in order to upload our element we're going to go to the upload section right over here and we're going to click on Upload Files. Then we're going to navigate to the location of our free pick file that we saved earlier. This one. And then we're going to click on Open. Or double click on this one to upload it to Canva. And here it is. I think it looks really nice. It's very, very cute. Okay. So basically, that's what you can do when uploading photo elements from FreePig to Canva. Quite easy. But what about templates or PSD files? Let's try that out next. So we're going to go back to FreePig and we're going to look for templates now. So I'm going to click on templates. And depending on what you're looking for, you can type it in here. Say, for example, birthday card. Okay, and feel free to look for whatever birthday card you'd like to download. As for me, I think I like the one on right over here. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on free or download, I mean. Remember to attribute your element so it's going to be downloaded as a zip file 
No worries, we're going to be extracting that later. And I'm going to create a new folder. And this is going to be entitled Birthday Card Free Pick Template. And I'm going to save my zip file over there. Okay. So here on Canvas homepage, we're going to go to Projects. And then we're going to click on Add New. Oh, wait a moment. We have not extracted our file yet. So we're going to open our file. So Show in Folder. And then we already created a um a folder earlier so it's safe for us to extract it here it will still be organized so right click extract files or extract here and there you go so this is the psd file that we're going to be using earlier this one is the image format so we're going to go to add new and click on upload if you want to add a folder, that's fine. It'll keep things organized for you. But as for me, I'm going to click on Upload. And I'm going to go to this folder right here. As you can see, we only have the image. Don't select that because we were, we're not going to be able to edit the, the elements individually if we use this one. So go to this button right here. Instead of having it as custom files, click on it and replace it with all files so that everything will show up and then click on this psg file because that's what we're going to use and then click open so basically you're just going to wait for your free pick template to be fully uploaded to canva okay our psd file is fully uploaded by the way after it finishes uploading and you couldn't find it just try to refresh your web page and it should be there so we're going to click on it and it'll be opened in another tab where we're going to be able to edit it and use it in our design and as you can see i'm just gonna close this one as you can see this is the uh, template that we got from FreePick. So you can actually, since it's a PSD file, you can actually edit the elements individually as opposed to an image where you cannot edit everything individually. <laughs> so yeah, um, by using this method, you'll be able to customize it however you want to. You can replace elements here with elements from Canva and so on and so forth there and i think that's it for today's video so i'm going to be customizing this template for a while if you want to keep watching to learn how i do it or if you want to see my process feel free to do so but if otherwise we still thank you for watching and we really hope you found today's video of help somehow so yeah, we hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.